Welcome to Excel Practice 1. Start Excel. Click Blank Workbook. Select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your Excel folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the workbook as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore Excel, underscore practice, underscore one. Take a moment to locate the following components of the Excel workbook window. Notice how columns are letters and rows are numbered. The intersection of a row and column is a cell. The active cell is A1. Notice the vertical and horizontal scroll bars. Use the arrow to practice scrolling on the page. In cell A1, type My Budget by Month and press Enter. In cell A2, type For the First Quarter and press Enter. In the Name box, change A3 to A4 and then hit Enter. Notice how the active cell changed to A4. Starting in cell A4, type each of the following, pressing enter after each. In cell B3, type January and press enter. Select cell B3 and use the fill handle to drag to cell D3. Notice how the names of the months automatically generate. The fill handle enables autofill, which generates and extends a series of values into adjacent cells based on the value of the other cells. Adjust column width for cell A to 136 pixels by dragging the right boundary. Select the range B3 to D3 and center the text. Note, a range in Excel is two or more cells in a worksheet that are adjacent or next to each other, or non-adjacent, not next to each other. To select non-adjacent ranges, use the control key on your keyboard. In cell B4, type 1200 and enter the remaining numbers as shown. In cell B8, type equals B4 plus B5 plus B6 plus B7 and press tab. In cell C8, type equals C4 plus C5 plus C6 plus C7 and press tab. Note, Using this technique, we are manually entering a formula that sums a range of cells. Notice the formula bar as you enter in your formula. The formula bar displays the underlying formula. A quicker way to enter in a formula is with a function. We will use the SUM function next. In cell D8, click Auto Sum on the Home tab, Editing Group, and press enter. In cell E3, type total and then press enter. Click in cell E4, press alt plus equals. This is a keyboard shortcut that enters the sum function. If the keyboard shortcut does not work, use the auto sum technique we just discussed. Click the enter button on the formula bar, which is the green or blue check mark. With cell E4 selected, Drag the fill handle in cell E4 down through cell E8. Click in cell F3, type Trend, and press Enter. Click in cell A1 and drag your cursor to the right to select the range A1 through F1. On the Home tab, in the Alignment group, choose Merge and Center. The title should be merged and centered in the range A1 through F1. Using the same technique, merge and center the title in the range A2 through F2. Apply the title style to cell A1 and the heading 1 style to 
the cell A2. Cell styles are on the Home tab, Styles group, and then choose the arrow next to Cell Styles. Apply the Heading 4 style to the ranges B3 through F3 and A4 through A8. You can select the first range, hold down the Control key, and select the second range. Then apply the cell style, or apply one at a time. Apply the Accounting Number format to the ranges B4 through E4 and B8 through E8. The number format is located on the Home tab, Number Group. Select the arrow to view a drop-down list of all number formats. Apply the Common Number Style to the range B5 through E7. This is located on the Home tab, Number Group, and select the Comma. Apply the Total Number Style to the range B8 through E8. Auto Fit Column D. Select Column D by clicking on the Column D header. Then, double click the line between the D and E. Apply the Slice theme to the workbook. On the Page Layout tab, in the Themes group, choose Slice. If necessary, adjust the total cells or any other cells to ensure you can see all of the cell content. Select the range A3 through D7. On the Insert tab, in the Charts group, click Recommended Charts. Click All Charts, select Clustered Column Chart. With the chart selected, under Chart Tools, Design tab, in the Chart Layouts group, choose the Add Chart Element and ensure the chart title is Above Chart. Change the chart title to My Budget. Drag the chart by clicking and holding any of the chart outer lines. Move the chart so that the upper left-hand corner is inside cell A10. Ensure the chart is still selected and apply Chart Styles. Style 6. Chart Styles are located on the Chart Tools Design tab under Chart Styles. Using Change Colors, select Colorful 4. Change Colors located on the Chart Tools Design tab under Chart Styles. Select the range B4 through D4 and insert a line, spark line, in cell F4. Be sure to not include the totals in the spark line range. Spark lines are located on the Insert tab, Spark Lines group, then choose Line. The spark line will display in cell F4. For the location range, click in cell F4. With the cell F4 selected, on the Spark Lines Design Toolbar in the Show group, choose the checkbox next to Markers. Apply the Spark Line Style Colorful Number 4 Style. Styles are located on the Spark Line Design Toolbar in the Style group. Choose the down arrow to view more styles. With cell F4 selected, use the fill handle to fill the spark line to cells F5 through F7. On the Page Layout tab, Sheet Options group, click the arrow to launch the Page Setup dialog box. Notice how it opens to the Sheet tab. Go to the Margins tab and click the checkbox to center the data and chart horizontally on the page. With the Page Setup dialog box still open, go to the Header Footer tab. Choose Custom Footer and insert the file name in the left section of the footer. The file name will show in the Print Preview and also when the spreadsheet is printed. This is a field, so if the file name is changed, it will automatically update the footer with the new file name. Click File to go to Backstage View. Under Info, choose Properties and then Advanced Properties. Advanced Properties. Add the following properties.
click the back arrow to exit Backstage View. Click the Save Shortcut button and ensure your file is saved in a safe location. Select the range A2 through F5 and then press Control and F2. This is the keyboard shortcut that displays Print Preview. If you do not have the shortcut key, click File to enter Backstage View, Print, and view the Print Preview. Change the Print Settings option to Print Selection and notice how the Print Preview changes. Printing of this assignment is not required, but if you needed to print a copy, you would click Print. Exit Backstage View and save your file. On the Formulas tab, in the Formulas Auditing group, show the formulas. This is a toggle button, so press it once to show the formulas. Press it again to remove Show Formulas. Notice how Row 8 displays the formula rather than the result when the Show Formula is turned on. Turn Show Formulas off. On the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, change to Landscape Orientation and scale the data to fit on one page. This is on the Page tab of the Page Layout dialog box. Run Spelling and Grammar Check, and compare your file to the example, and make all necessary corrections. Submit the file as instructed by your instructor. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.